know that God deals in truth while Satan deals in fiction. Amen. So we're going to stick the truth this morning. Amen? Amen. 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 In verse 14, the Bible reads, Stand therefore, having your loins girt with, about with truth. And then some versions are saying, wearing the belt of truth. Now, why do we start off with our armor with truth? Because truth is our foundation. We see, again, what happened in the garden was truth was broken up. And without that foundation of truth, none of the rest, the rest of the armor won't work. Right. So it starts off with truth, and I can tell you, when we walk outside, when we're in this world, you know we're dealing with a world of fiction, right? right? Here's a world of fiction. Let me explain. Okay. Here's a world of fiction. This week, a lot of the talk over the last several weeks has been about the Michael Brown and Officer Wilson case, right? Yeah. Facts of the case remain simple. Teach us. A teenager got into an altercation with an officer, and that teenager lost their life. He lost his life. Everything else? Fiction. Why? Because there are only two people there that can answer the truth. One is no longer living, the other is living, but he, what he says may be true or not, is his account. But everything else, all the commentary, all the debate, Preacher. all the discussion is based on what? Preacher. Fiction and guessing. That's right. Why? Preacher. Because we weren't there. Yeah. So what we have to remember when we're thinking about truth is at the end of the day, there's things that are facts that we know of. And then there are things that we are guessing. Yeah. There are things that are not definite. Yeah. Well, Christians, we got to stick to death. We got to stick to truth. Yeah. Because we understand that Satan, remember, he's not coming. He's not coming to you, you know, overtly. He's coming to you in a matter that's real subtle. Uh, you know, instead of telling you that you're going to die as he did in God, he said you will not surely die. Right. One word right. to bend the truth just enough to get us to move away from God because again, he wanted to break that relationship. So certainly we gotta remember that we gotta gird our loins with truth. Um, one, of the, one of the frequent lies that uh, God tells us, I'm sorry, that uh, Satan tells us and reminds us each day when we're thinking about truth is that if we didn't see it and if we weren't there, then we can still know truth without God, which is not true, which is not true. We can guess, we can make educated guesses, but without God, the only reason, let me tell you something, okay, I was, I'm, I'm only 33 years old, meaning I was not here around the time that Adam was on earth, right? I, I never saw Jesus, right? But God told me what happened in Jesus, with Jesus. God told me the story of Adam and Eve. Therefore, I know that story and believe it as truth because God told me. That's it. Not because That's I was there. That's it. Oh, let me turn this up. Fire preacher. I know we're going to work. Okay. It's working. Amen. So that's for truth. <laughs> we all know that, uh, like I said, in Ephesians chapter 5. He tells us another, another truth that he always knows that God tells us that our life and our homes, everything we need, comes from the light. Instruction comes from the light. One another lie that Satan tells us. Another lie that Satan tells us is that the Bible doesn't contain everything we need to live a good and pleasant life. Yes, right. But I counter that by looking at the scripture. I know that in Ephesians chapter 5, he tells us how our homes can be full of peace. I know that the instructions for the order of which our household should be. I know that in the book of Proverbs and in Romans chapter 13, verse 8, he tells us how to keep our wives full. He's our financial advisor. Everything I need to know about finances is right there. In verse 3, in chapter 7, verse 1 to 5, he tells us how to be our destinies and how to be the need for companionship. He gives very specific instructions on what we ought to be to fulfill those wants and desires and fulfill those needs. So when I look, I'm saying everything that I need is already in the Bible. So I don't have to believe that he's lying. So that means that I just got to stand on truth. The second thing, the second thing, Component of poor woman is the breastplate of righteousness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Satan tries his best to convince us that we don't serve a righteous God. He does this by 